What if a shy, sickly man changed the way we see the universe, but died before finishing his greatest idea? This is the haunting story of Bernhard Riemann. The 1800s, Europe was changing fast. Railroads, telegraphs, science racing forward. And in a small German village, a boy was born. Fragile, quiet, shy. His name? Bernhard Riemann. He barely spoke. He was nervous in crowds. Always sick. But in his mind, numbers came alive. Riemann was born in 1826. His family was poor. His father wanted him to be a pastor. But young Bernhard didn't dream of sermons. He dreamed of infinity. As a child, he read math books far beyond his level. He solved problems nobody expected him to. He didn't talk much. But when it came to numbers, his mind lit up. His father finally gave in. Riemann went to study in Göttingen. There, he stood before Carl Friedrich Gauss, the greatest mathematician alive. Riemann was shy, timid, but Gauss saw something rare, a spark of genius. In 1854, Riemann had to give a lecture. It could decide his future. He could have played it safe, picked a simple topic, but he didn't. He spoke about space itself. For thousands of years, people believed space was flat. Lines were straight. Angles always added up. Euclid's geometry ruled. Riemann asked, what if space is curved? He described a new world. A world where space could bend and twist. A new geometry, Riemannian geometry. Gauss was stunned. The timid boy had redrawn the universe. At first, people thought it was just theory. Interesting, but useless. They had no idea. Decades later, Einstein would use Riemann's geometry to build his theory of general relativity. Gravity, black holes, the bending of light, all explained using Riemann's vision. One lecture, one shy man, the key to the universe. But Riemann didn't stop there. In 1859, he wrote a paper, just eight pages long. Inside it was a riddle that still haunts mathematics. The Riemann hypothesis. It wasn't about geometry. It was about prime numbers. Primes are the atoms of mathematics. Simple, indivisible, but unpredictable. Riemann suggested a hidden order, a pattern buried deep inside the primes. If he was right, it would explain one of the greatest mysteries in math. To this day, no one has proved it. The world's best mathematicians have tried. All failed. A million-dollar prize now waits for whoever can solve it. But the answer is still out of reach. Riemann's life was not easy. He was often ill. His body was weak. But his mind never rested. He kept working. He kept dreaming. Even his sickness closed in. In 1866, at only 39 years old, Riemann died of tuberculosis. He left behind scattered notes. Half-finished ideas. Questions still unanswered. He lived less than 40 years. But his impact is everywhere. Riemannian geometry powers Einstein's theory of relativity. It shapes modern physics, GPS, even our understanding of the universe. The Riemann hypothesis remains one of math's biggest unsolved mysteries. The Riemann integral changed how we measure curves and areas. The Riemann mapping theorem transformed complex analysis. Everywhere in science, Riemann's fingerprints remain. So here's the haunting question. What if Riemann had lived longer? Would he have solved his own hypothesis? Would we already know secrets we are still chasing today? We'll never know. If stories like this fascinate you, stories of forgotten geniuses who changed the world, Don T, let them be forgotten again. Hit like, share this video, and subscribe for more untold stories of science and brilliance.